if we want a solution implemented to this problem, the Japanese government has to come out there with the truth and admit that there's actually that the problem is as serious as it really is, even more serious than we probably think it is. So let's talk about solutions, actually, because believe it or not, the Japanese government and TEPCO are are actually trying to find some solutions in order to, you know, uh, try to fix. Can't really fix, but to try to contain the 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 problem over at Fukushima. And the Japanese government has proposed an ice wall, an underground ice wall, I guess, to, to prevent the core from melting into the ground. They say it's an impenetrable ice wall. I'm not quite buying it because ice melts. It's a little bit it's a little bit easier to keep a permafrost, I guess, if you're you know, if you're if you're controlling it. <laughs> but I don't I don't buy that as a solution at well, all. I don't either. I mean, but look at what we did with Chernobyl. We encased that shit into concrete and got the which fuck was out of not it. a solution. You know, that was also not a solution. But that that's what we did there, and now we're doing ice walls. And you know, those those are the solutions that Tepco and the Japanese government are putting forth. Because once right, again, we don't do actually know how to get stop this whole thing. What they're trying to do is maintain the business, though. They're trying to find some way to still justify the use of nuclear energy. Instead, what we should be doing is focusing our, our efforts into, into funding renewable sources of energy and getting out of nuclear energy completely. Well, well here's what, see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree with you on that, Henry, because I believe that nuclear energy is a viable energy source, it, it, and it's something that... Due to the scale of our population in the world, it's it's a source of energy that it's prudent and it can be safe. And we want to talk solutions. And I know this sounds kind of uh, flippant in a way, but uh, but I don't mean it that way. But uh, a solution by it, have these countries buy can-do reactors. I'm sorry. Why is it that in Canada we have several nuclear facilities here, and we use the can-do reactors, which to date, uh, I preface to date, have uh, have a perfect safety history. Why? Because they're built properly, uh, they're maintained properly, and they're uh, regulated properly. So the, that's part of a solution. I, I don't say that we need to get out of the nuclear energy business. I think it's something that we do need and it's something that can be harnessed. Um, it's The solutions are how do we do it properly? In my opinion, I think it's too risky and I think that the technology, uh, other technologies exist. There are many technologies that exist. We don't need nuclear energy. We need to get past it. As much as we need to get away from fossil fuels and coal, I think well, nuclear I energy was... Uh, is a is a nice idea, but it's too volatile, it's too dangerous, and it's not worth it. It makes a great stepping stone, though. No. It, it really does make a great stepping stone to get off of the other fossil fuels, and if you implement the most modern of the technology. And again, this stage three, stage four plants, these really need to be put into place because um, that gets rid of this fifteen thousand year half life on this fucking nuclear waste, which is ridiculous. I mean, you we have to get rid of that 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 type of half life. We have to get out of the thousands of years and get to the tens of years, and we actually can do that with these modern plants. That makes them a lot safer. The problem with those modern plants, the reason that they're that they're pushed against is is a lot of government um, push because. What happens once you take um, uranium and you keep refining it and refining it and refining it, it be, it becomes weaponized plutonium, and that is the problem with those type of plants is that we don't want civil engineers running nuclear power plants holding on to weaponized plutonium, you know, even though it's we're 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 reducing half lives by doing it and and, and cleaning up the planet by doing it. For some reason, we're we're so scared of that that we can't handle it, and 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 I find that ridiculous. I I, I just think that you know, well, fine. I mean, it, you know, let's put some budget into protecting it then. But you know, I, I I really agree with Brian and you both on it. But I I would like to see nuclear power plants gone in a distant future. But right now, we don't just need them. We need to build you know more modernized ones, and. And look at geography a little bit more. Where we're going to put them? 
<laughs> There's some countries that might just not be capable fire. of having them, you know? Yeah, I would like to scare the crap out of everybody briefly. Uh, given the site uh, that the, you know, Daiichi's at, how bad it is right now, one of those buildings, I think it's Reactor 3, uh, is barely held together. I mean, the bird droppings are keeping it from falling over at this point. So what happens if we have another earthquake or a tsunami now? Then we're really fucked. Disaster. And, and I just want to point out, I just want to point out here that uh, this is a GE-made nuclear reactor. And it's this particular model that was in Fukushima that had been shown to have several design flaws, which became incredibly apparent. Yeah. After, I mean, okay, I don't see much, uh, a building, you know, really surviving both a, you know, both an earthquake and a tsunami within the same time frame. But nonetheless, this, even without that, this kind of reactor had serious design flaws. And so I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, and like the uh, generators in the basement. Yes, the diesel generators in the basement. That is such a dumb idea. God, they're stupid. Um... But I also want to point out one more technology that they're actually trying to do to reduce this contamination of the water. Um, because, you know, earlier we've had reports that they're just, uh, you know, dumping 300 tons of irradiated water right into the ocean. They're just not giving a fuck anymore. We've got to put it somewhere, right? You know, get in the ocean. And the government is building a water treatment plant to try and remove most of the radioactive substances from that water as to reduce its its radioactivity and TEPCO had actually built one of those uh, one of those water plants but of course you know how you know TEPCO apparently really sucks at what they do that plant during their trial run the equipment had completely corroded I'm guessing that uh, TEPCO is incredibly cheap <laughs> I would like to clarify one thing, too. Um, 300 tons of groundwater a day is flowing through the basements of the reactors from the hills behind the plant out to sea. So that's a day. A day. And they've tried to... Um, they've built a wall between the sea and the reactors, and now the groundwater that is not able to flow, uh, I guess, as freely into the ocean, and it's backing up on the, at the site, and some of the buildings are actually sinking. The groundwater level is rising behind the wall. This is another one of the problems that they're going to face if they do this uh, frozen wall between the, the plant and the ocean. This is a disaster. I think this is a good opportunity for us to take this as a learning experience and uh, try to get away from nuclear energy. Um, of course, you know, what we have, we want it to be as safe as possible and as modern as possible. But, um, you know, when there's a profit incentive, there's always going to be corruption, and these companies and these corporations are always going to take it upon themselves to take advantage of those opportunities. So I don't trust the technology. I don't like the technology. I don't think it's worth it, and we have plenty of more options. So let's try to get away from it. Um, that's my opinion. <laughs>